Hey, what's up all? So this is Keith again. This time I'm going to show you on how we're going to speed up our PC a little bit without using any software, but just to optimize its speed using certain settings on our, uh, what do you call this one, services. We're going to use the MS Config or Microsoft Configuration. So with this one, you're just going to go to Startup. As you can see in here, there are a lot of list of what they call this shit in here a uh, lot of applications all you're going to do is just to disable it click on apply click on ok now once you will be able to restart your computer then definitely the pc will be pretty much faster compared to the previous one the next thing that we're going to do is just to type in services.msc this time we're going to deal with the background services that are running in our computer without us noticing that it is running or they're running on the background so there are lots and lots of services in here but try to be careful guys not to disable some of the services that are essentials because those services might affect the performance as well as the uh, yeah the performance of your PC so I have a couple of services that needs to be stopped. This one is the Adobe Updater, Acrobat Updater. Just click on Disable, then Stop. Click Apply, then OK. There you go. We're done with it. Then we're going to find a different one. Uh, where was it? I think it's somewhere in here. Uh, there you go. This one. Windows Firewall. You can just disable it. Click on Stop, Apply, and OK. I don't need that one. I have my own antivirus. If you're in IT, then definitely you will not be needing that one. Next is the which one? Windows Update. So if your PC is running smoothly, then why do you have to update it all the time? Click Apply. Click OK. Then Background Intelligence Transfer. So this slows down your internet connectivity because it keeps on downloading unnecessary updates for your computer so you can disable that one as well let me check if there are still other things if you have your printer with you then you can just enable this one but if you don't have one then you can disable that one security center or security accounts will also be disabled by me click on apply click ok there you go so that's it that's how you're going to speed up your pc manually all right